Yes. Can you explain about yourself, ma? Firstly, good morning, sir. My name is Harshita. I am a recent graduate in uh, Babatla Engineering College with aggregate of 8.67. Along with my degree, I after my com completion of my engineering, I came to VQ Software Solutions and I joined in a course of uh, Java full stack. Mm -hmm. And uh, I in did your, in your academic project, did you complete any projects? Yes, sir. Okay. I and did what the, about uh, recent projects? How many projects you have completed yes, totally? Sir. I completed uh, in an as an academic project, I did a machine learning project in AgriSmart solution mm -hmm. uh, along with Python skills. Mm -hmm. And uh, after VQ, I'm um, joining in uh, Java full stack. I did uh, library management system using satellite basin. And mm -hmm. uh, currently, I'm doing microservices. Okay. And I, currently, I'm learning this. Okay, only two projects you did? I did some of the like console based projects. Uh, like, explain uh, about console based project what you did. I did snake and ladder console basic project. Mm -hmm. uh, it mainly consists uh, here we are using the uh, here the first tell me the yeah. list of projects you did then I'll ask okay. you the questions. Yeah. I did a console basic project of snake and ladder and a library management system using satellite basic concepts mm -hmm. and uh, microservices like synchronous and asynchronous. Coming to microservices I did uh, like restaurant basic project like orders. Mm -hmm. Currently, I'm doing it, sir. I'm learning it. Okay. So, can you tell me about your snake and ladder? What are the technologies you used? Yes, sir. In snake and ladder, mainly consists of it is a console based where a person and a computer is work is uh, playing the game. In computer, we are uh, having we are using a random function. Mm -hmm. Random and function from which class? It is a package. What is the class name? Random. Math. Yes. Okay. Math dot random. Mm -hmm. And uh, for uh, making uh, that dice, uh, like every person need to roll the die. If he got the six means, mm. he need to repeat it. Okay. And for snakes and ladders, mm. I did a map. I used a map. A map is having a key value pair. Okay. In for ca considering as a ladder, I set the predefined values. Like for some values, if we have the key like this, then it will be increased. Like next value will be more if i got for example consider uh, if i got the eight means the key is eight means i can have the ladder and jump to 18th place like that i introduce it i put you prepared some, your own logic for this yes sir okay for snake means uh, as we know snake if key value pair after getting the key it it will be reduced like if i got the nine means it will be uh, sorry if i got the 19 means it has a snake means it will downfall to the some value like 2. Okay. So, for the downfalling for upgrading, what you did? I Here also I used a map, map dot put here the key value pairs are declared as a numbers like 9 comma, uh, 19 comma 2. Like high value first and low value next. Okay. Then if the roll is dice or reaches to the particular point, then it will be reduced and came back to the particular value position. Mm -hmm. Then, until the process continues, the user and the computer, if he the if the user is got the reaches to hundred means he is a winner. Okay. Like that, the game continues until the process finishing. Okay, wonderful. Can you explain about library management? What you did and uh, you mentioned servlets and JS, right? Explain yes. about this project. Library management system is uh, basically by using the servlets and it is having the architecture like model view controller. In uh, here, model view controller, the front end from, came from, from view layer and uh, controller layer, data access layer and data layer. In view layer, we have the basic like what the user will what the user will see the content. Like the user will see like home page, like registration page, all this content are seen through view page only. And controllers, I use the Sarlet. Sarlet is a controller and and JSP is for presentation and for uh, data Can you data explain access about life lifecycle? Yes sir. Data access, uh, sorry, servlet lifecycle is consists mainly four parts. Okay. And from loading, initialization and request and destroy. If I have a number of requests, your servlet will be going to create an object for every request? No sir. Then? It create an object for initial request, then it will use the same service method it has a init method and service method, right? 
the init method is called only once and service, me service method will be called for each and every request. What is service method input? I mean, what are the arguments it is expecting? Service method, whatever the do post, do get, you yes. are using, right? So, what the do post method is expecting as an argument? Request and response. Yes. So, what? why we need request and response? Request and responses are classes or interfaces? These are interfaces. Okay. Go on. Uh, Sublets is basically used for, for taking the request and generating the response. Mm -hmm. And here uh, for loading and it's coming to servlet life cycle. Mm -hmm. Like uh, firstly, it, it need to for loading. After that, after that loading means initialization. The data, data, data resources need to be initialized. Mm. And here we have the init method. After that, we have service uh, service method. Here, uh, each and every request we are calling the service method. Okay. Like initially, if the client is uh, send asking the request, it will send to the browser. The client send uh, that browser next. We have the servlet and it will perform all these operations like init, service and destroy mm. and then it will come out of it. And lastly, last we have the destroy method. In destroy method, it will be come out of the, I mean, memory or if we close the database, then the servlet lifecycle will end like this. Okay, can you explain about how your UI page is communicating with your servlet? UI page basically I use a JSP Java server pages. Mm -hmm. Here I use a, I written the logic like uh, we have the directives and uh, we have page directive okay. like impl uh, importing and we have some of the contents like uh, scriptlets directives and uh, expression tags. I use it these content. I use it the uh, like uh, in basically in my project library management system at uh, the home page having the CRUD operations right. These are all viewing by the user. The, I did the front end logic uh, by using this uh, for importing purpose at the red page and for for table of contents means uh, we ha use the tags like th. These are all contents or some of the logics is written in Java server pages okay. and then it will be sent after that like I did written like a form after okay. submitting it. Explain about the form what you given. Yes, sir. First, the user need to be registered. I created an administrative purpose, administrative okay. purpose, and first he need to be registered. Then he will perform a login operations. Okay. In form, he mainly consists name. Like we know that in HTML, we have the form tag. Like yes. input is I'm equal to text. I am looking for that actually. What the form tag is going to do? Yes, sir. Uh, here the form tag is a main head tag, hmm. and in body we need, we need to write the form tag in okay. form tag. We have to perform uh, after that here we, we need to give the inputs like input and for each and every box like text box you need to write. But form tag there is an attribute right? What yes sir, action hmm. uh, on focus. On going to the action, on yes, clicking sir. something it's going to action. Yes, so from this action where it will go? From this action it will go to the uh, controller. Directly it will go to the controller? No or? sir. Hmm. We have to perform JSP validations whether the text box is having the particular conditions or not. Okay. Can you explain about why we need web.xml in Java? Why we need web.xml means uh, we, uh, we we need to write the code like servlet, like servlet name, servlet mapping in order to map each and every con content what we are writing in the front controller, I mean front page like view page to servlets. We need to write the web.xml or we need, we need we use the annotation like at the red web servlet. Yep. So in order to reduce a uh, like duplicate code or uh, in order to read, in, instead of writing heavy or uh, longer code, we can write simply at the red web servlet annotation. Okay. So that we can use the path like if we do the just action, whatever the here in action, whatever we given the content, that particular name is given in at the red web servlet, then easily it will connect from a UI form to? UI to next. Controller. Uh, that is what my question is. How you are connecting from UI to controller? Yes, this is where at the rate web servlet or you can say web.xml. You explained everything, but whatever I mentioned, yes. right? That you mentioned with the examples. Yes. Good. So can you explain about JDBC connection? How you did from controller to database, how you are connecting? Yes, sir. Uh, here we have JDBC means uh, like we need to everything we need in modular fashion. Mm -hmm. I created everything in a modular fashion and I use it uh, another module for uh, for JDBC also. 
and we have so many steps like uh, JDBC connections like loading the class, uh, next uh, connection establishment, prepare statement. As, as we can use statement too, but we have some problems like SQL injection. Okay, can you explain the steps how you are connecting to the database? Yes, sir. First, we need to write the class dot for name for driver load uh, for loading the class. Here, we need to give the path like com dot mysql dot cj dot driver. Is it a path or a class name? Class name. Okay. And here, the driver um, like driver manager is a class name. It is a fully qualified name. After that, we need to establish a connections. Connection con is equal to uh, like here we need to give the path like localhost whatever the database the Can database you explain we about in. what we are going to give in the get connection method yes sir in get connection method we have uh, uh, like path we need to give path like localhost colon double three zero six double three zero six directly we will give the same or do we need to give any name like no sir we have to give jdbc colon colon mysql call hmm. then localhost localhost colon double three zero six what is double three zero six it is a we have I use it MySQL uh, for for making the tables for creating the tables in order to perform queries. Its port number is double three zero six. So yeah. that is why I use it the double three zero six. And in MySQL I created like it is in the form of a batches type. So I use it the I created some of the like I, I use it the batch fifty four. Then I use it to give that. And in that URL we need to specify the username and the password. So I URL we need to specify or any other separate argument? No, sir, as a separate argument by mm. using the separated by using commas. Mm. I use it the username. Okay, next step. Next step. After that, prepare statement. Mm. Uh, prepare statement is uh, is used here. We does not want to specify directly like same as a statement because in order to avoid the uh, SQL injection. Uh, here in this statement we have to consider as a values by using the placeholder okay and we need to set the values for each and every placeholder after that the result set is given in result set means it, like consider as a each as initially result set won't be started with particularly starting li line we need to specify as next results result set dot next okay wait so can you you mentioned something like microservices yeah why we need to go for microservices in java yes sir microservices is uh, each and every process is considered as a ind independent one before microservices we have monolithic applications hmm. in monolithic ap applications we have some of the problems like let us consider as a swig swiggy in stomach each and every they have sub modules like each and every is having different parts if there is one problem in particular app then it won't if it won't need to be disturbed in all the aspects of the uh, application in monolithic applications we have the biggest dis disadvantages of this if you have any error means we need to specify we need to check from starting of the starting to ending whereas okay. coming to microservices so which microservices which technologies you use to spring boot or any other I use a Spring Boot. In okay, explain Ad about Spring Boot annotations. What do you work on? Yes, sir. Uh, majorly, uh, first one is uh, at the rate Spring Boot annotation. It is a big starting one. Here we need. Here these are the com combinations of at the rate enable auto configuration and at the rate component scan and at the rate uh, configuration. Spring Boot configuration. Spring Boot configuration. Okay. Yeah, explain about the differences between at the rate rest controller versus at the rate controller. Yes, sir. At the rate rest controller is used for rest applications, and like we when we are working here in order to use rest controller, we I use it Postman. In order to here we can have the request mapping like whichever do get do post all these operations through Postman, and if you are using the MV like uh, web applications, I use it the controller. Okay. This, uh, so tell me why we need at the rate configuration and at the rate bean. At the rate configuration is a class level annotation, and uh, if you specify at the rate configuration as a in in before the class name, then we can have the any number of beans in it. Bean is method level annotation. In method level annotation, if we give the at the rate bean means we can create. We does not want to 
directly create an object by using a new what component. is the purpose of adrate entity adrate entity uh, in, in order to make a table in order to create a table we need to specify adrate entity before the uh, that particular class name can you explain about lombok lombok Yes, sir. Uh, while we are using with time leaf applications, we need to add the dependencies uh, in as a lambda. It is a dependency. So instead of writing all these contents, like what are the annotations you used? Yes, sir. In lambda by using lambda. Okay. So tell me, um, what is at the rate uh, ID? Sir, at the rate ID. If we have a table, you need to, you need to have the f. We need to have the primary key for specifying a particular column as a primary key. We have to annotate with the rate ID. Okay. And uh, let us consider, for example, uh, as a let us consider as something as a table as uh, like student student table. Here we have the roll numbers. Roll number, each and every roll number is unique. That primary okay. key. That's fine. That's fine. So tell me, uh, microservice has differences between REST template versus Open Fin client. REST template is used to making REST up, uh, RESTful service. I have much. Okay, uh, you mentioned you create, you are working on microservices to create and synchronous, and right? Yes. What is the REST template is doing? That synchronous process you synchronous mentioned, process, right? Yes. Yeah. What you did in your project by using REST template? If you have two applications, means we mm. can connect. Mm. Like if you have here, we have to give the connections open, like open thing. Like you need to have the base package in the paran uh, within parentheses, and you need to specify that package. Then this particular uh, application has one uh, port number. Mm. After that. We can connect this application and another application by using this. That is what I am looking for. Great. Good job, Mahashida. So, thank you.